What's going on, everybody? It's Brian Tripp. Welcome back to another episode of the Real Estate Investing Live podcast, where we interview the very best real estate investors, entrepreneurs, and business leaders all throughout the country. And today, I am joined by my great friend, Mr. Chris Chico out of Miami, Florida. How's it going today, Chris? Everything is great. Any day above ground is a great day. Today, qualify it. I'm hoping tomorrow will be the same, and I'm here with you, so that makes it even better. Guys, we're going to cut through all the fluff. No, you don't need to like get, I don't need to ask Chris about who he is and what's his background. And guys, Chris is a legend in the real estate industry. And what we're going to do right now, we're only going to spend 20 minutes. We're going to go through this very fast, but it's going to be very actionable. So stay tuned. We are going to talk to the person who is looking to get their very first deal. If you have not done your very first deal yet, even if you've tried other courses, tried other things, other programs, other YouTube videos, whatever it might be, this is going to be the video that's gonna help you get your first deal. Chris, tell everyone actionable steps, actionable stuff here, only no fluff, no fluff allowed. No fluff. How can someone right. <laughs> get their first deal? What do you recommend? So I've always been a fan of inbound marketing, meaning that you have, you know, in our business, the most important thing is you need motivated prospects. You need property owners that are willing to sell their property at a discount. And you can go and find those people one of two ways. You can either do outbound where you're doing cold calling or doing other methods in order to, uh, to, to, to get at them. Or you can do marketing that, that has them raise their hand and say, yes, I'm interested in selling my property. Please, uh, I would like to speak with you. That's always been my forte. I, and I started with direct mail, and that's how I started, by sending out postcards and letters. However, in about 2016, as more and more people got into the business, direct mail got more saturated. So I started to look for a different methodology. And for me, I realized that, hey, the internet, it's not going to go away. People are on the internet. My mom's on the internet. She thinks Facebook is the internet. So I said, hey, I got to look at this thing. So I decided to try and crack the Facebook nut. Uh, I had looked at PPC, but people already doing PPC, SEO was kind of slow. And so through a lot of trial and error, I figured out how to find motivated sellers on Facebook. And now that's gone through a couple of transitions. Initially, we were targeting zip codes uh, in, in the areas where there's the most investor activity. But Facebook took that away with uh, some things that they rolled out. And then we were forced to go wider and wider and wider. And then um, just really by circumstance, one day I created a campaign that had no targeting. I was targeting nationwide accidentally. And then um, I started all these leads and I thought, oh my God, I cracked the code. This is amazing. And then I realized that all these leads were coming in from all over the country. And then, and then the light bulb went off and said, oh, wow, we can get these people all over the country. Why not try to do the deals virtually at, no matter where they go? So then now uh, that's now transitioned into our model currently, which is we teach real estate investors nationwide wholesaling, which is how to go out and target the entire country and find property owners in small towns, big towns, all kinds of places, and just do deals where they come. So rather than selecting a market, like if most of us are used to selecting a local market, or even if you do virtual wholesaling, you're selecting a market, even if it's not your local area. What we're doing is that we're allowing the marketing to select our opportunities. And so the only way we can do that, however, is through digital marketing. So we do that through Facebook and through Google pay-per-click pay by advertising nationwide. And we get deals in tiny towns that perhaps you would have never considered, but that are viable, that have a lot of investors buying deals in. And we're dealing with property owners that are not being bombarded with letters and cold calls from other real estate investors. And uh, we're having great success with that. <laughs> and you know, the primary way that we help our students is we have a couple of different mechanisms. One is a course where people can buy our course and go through all the materials. And we've taught people who never knew anything about Facebook to getting their first campaigns up and running to do successfully doing deals. And then some people want handholding. And with that, we teach them through what we call an intensive. And intensive is a little bit different in the sense that we have very little information that we teach the students in the intensive. Because I'm a big believer in that the majority of the people spend too much time on education. You need education up to a certain point, but I think that the real learning happens when you're on the field. You could go through a course on how to talk to sellers, but you and I both know that the way you learn how to talk to sellers is to talk to sellers. And so what we do and our best, uh, this is what I'm really excited about is we have a program where we actually 
uh, just if you sign up for that program within three days, you're getting leads. You're getting property owners that are submitting their information that, that, that are now being sent to you and you got to talk to them. And there's no way you can hide from that. Like there's no cubby hole you can go. It's like you pay this money. Go ahead. No. You got to stop me because otherwise I just might be like a, like a road runner. I'm stopping you. I'm stopping you. This, this, this right here, this. Chris, I hate cold calling. I hate it. Yeah, so do I. I, I hate text blasting. I hate it. I hate it. Cause you know why I hate it for brand new people? For two reasons. First of all, it takes a very specific kind of personality to do that. And yeah. to the re and secondly, the rejection is massive. The rejection and some people, some personalities can filter through that and keep persevering. That's like three percent of the population. The majority yeah. of us cannot deal with that rejection so what do we do if we're brand new at real estate we quit we're out okay we're done and this is why and i've been preaching this for so long about inbound marketing versus outbound marketing i'm so glad you've touched on this and i want i want to say two things about what you just said the one the inbound versus outbound inbound having people come to you and that last thing that you just said before i cut you off it's forcing people to to, to forcing you to talk to people, yes. However, the big difference here is it's not me cold calling someone and I'm trying to talk to somebody on the phone who probably does not want to be talked to. Yeah. This is someone contacting me. Big, big, big difference. And now, I mean, the percentage of, of people that are just going to cuss you out is like, it's, it's, it's almost, it's almost insignificant. There's nothing. There's no, nobody's cussing you off. But sometimes it still does. I, I've done direct mail. I've done yeah. a lot of inbound marketing. Sometimes, it, hey, get me off your list. Why did you do that? that? That still happens, but it's rare. The point here is yeah. it's inbound and people are, you are, you're practicing on people that want to talk to you. That's yes. the huge difference here. I love this, Chris. And the second thing I want to say, uh, off of what you, uh, what uh, your, your diatribe. <laughs> no, it was awesome. Yes. <laughs> the the roadrunner. The second thing I want to say, this is so big guys. This is so huge. Guys, the, the, the nationwide net, the, and I, I, this didn't really click for me until you, until you were kind of explaining it. The nationwide net, in my opinion, I want to get your feedback on this, Chris. The reason it's working, I don't know if it'll always work, but the reason it's working today and it will work as long as we're in a seller's market is because there are buyers everywhere. There are buyers in small town, Ohio, small town, Indiana, small town, this and this and this and that you have buyers for. There's buyers everywhere in, in all these. They're, they're going outside of, of the big cities and going to the periphery. And that's where the deals are now. That's why they're going yeah. there. And there's so many buyers for these opportunities. So if someone's raising their hand and saying, I have a house for sale, they probably haven't been targeted. 100%. So, 100%. And that's what we're finding because either these are, most people don't think about the major metropolitan areas. The other thing is that there's so many other small towns. So many times, uh, like for example, I, I think uh, you know, we're constantly doing deals and there's students doing, doing deals in towns that they never even knew existed until the lead came in, you know? Um, and so, so to me, I think it's a great opportunity uh, because of not that much competition. And at the end, you know, it just comes down to numbers. This is a numbers business. You know, a deal is a deal no matter where it is. And there's some nuances to that to determine, like, you know, where you're going to get your buyers from, et cetera. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, we've, we have students that have been doing cold calling and have been doing all that stuff, have not been able to get a deal. And then we've been able to help them get a deal. And, and, and also it's, it's in combination with, and most importantly, it's getting into the doing of the business, getting into the, I mean, we have students that at day zero, they were horrible. I mean, and I told them like, you got to get better. We got to practice on the scripts we and everything were. else. We're all terrible. Yeah. yeah. But I guarantee you that no matter where you are, if you talk to 50 to 75 sellers over a period of the next 45 days, you're going to get better. Okay. You are going to get better. You're going to be forced into getting better. And at the end of the day, a lot of people in this business are playing make-believe. 
you're going through courses, you're going through materials, but you're not really doing the business. Doing the business is every day you're talking to the sellers, every day you're making offers, every day you're analyzing properties, you're putting deals on the contract. Some will work, some will not, but that is the doing of the business. And the faster you guys can get into that with the least amount of knowledge, that is where success lies. It doesn't lie in a, in a big seminar you can spend three days. The granted, you need the foundational information because you need to know like the basics of this business. But very soon, very quickly, you got to move away from that and you got to go to active learning, which is the doing of the business. And that's what's going to get you the results. I love this so much, Chris. Guys, we are going to link to, first of all, Chris's YouTube channel where he's got tons of free videos that you can watch on doing exactly this. Um, but And I'm going to link to some other social that Chris has going on. But we're also going to put in the description how you can get in touch with him and how you can get kind of get into his ecosystem and get these get this incredible information that's going to help you do your first deal. I'm all about taking action. If you don't want to take action, this is not the right video for you. This is not the right, Chris is not the right uh, guide and mentor for you. Guys, it's all, real estate is all about taking action. He who gets, he or she who gets the most results will win. Let me say that again, guys. He or she who gets the most results will win. And what that means is why I love what Chris is doing. You guys make five offers a day, five a day consistently, and, and it doesn't matter if people are rejecting you. It doesn't matter if you're getting yeses or noes. It doesn't matter. You're constantly getting the results. It's like if you were a basketball player and you took a, you got to take a hundred shots in that game. I don't. It doesn't even matter if you only made ten percent of them. You made ten shots, and you made ten shots because you were able to take more shots than anyone else. Get the most results. You're going to win. It's all about consistency and your actions. That's why I love what Chris is up to, guys. Make sure that you go and check out his stuff. I'm going to put everything in the description. Go to flipanywhere.com. Guys, go to flipanywhere.com and see all the free resources he has available to you that is going to help you get started in your real estate journey. Again, today's video was all about getting that very first deal. If you haven't done your first deal, I want you to replay this video and I want you to go to flipanywhere.com and really get to know what Chris is up to. I trust him, known him for a long time. He has some of the best content that's out there. So guys, go to flipanywhere.com. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. We love you so much. We're gonna see you next time.